Hello everybody, it's Mario and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing a review of this beautiful Aurora doll. She was released back in 1998 and her retail price was probably somewhere below 30. Unfortunately right now you can only find her on eBay and you'll probably have to pay a little bit more than 60, but she is totally worth it. Now I have always wanted to get this doll, but I didn't know how to find her or what the name was. So thankfully my friend Aaron, um, his name on Instagram is Richard Simmons. And he takes the most beautiful photos you've ever seen. So definitely go follow him. But yeah, he told me what the name was. And I was finally able to get her for a pretty good price. I'm really, really happy. I love this doll so much. So let's go ahead and show you guys the box and all the details. Right on the top, we see that it says Disney Collector Dolls. And on the other side, there was a sticker with a price. And I took that off. So it doesn't look too good. But the box is still in great condition. And once I take her out, she's definitely going back in the box because it's so pretty. It says 40th anniversary, Sleeping Beauty, and right on the bottom it says the signature collection and she is limited edition, fifth in a series. They also did a Snow White, Cinderella, Belle, and Beast. In the back of the box we see a beautiful picture of them together, uh, Philip and Aurora, and there's this nice description which you can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read. Right on the bottom it says limited edition, Sleeping Beauty by Mattel. When you open the sleeve, you can see her displayed beautifully in this window with a beautiful background. And right below you can see a cute little picture of Philip and Aurora dancing with the fairies around them. Right inside the box there's this cardboard piece that you're supposed to attach right below so that it can kind of um, keep it open in case you want to display her with an open window. And it's not the difficult guy, it's just difficult for me with the camera. But you're supposed to just put it right below and it kind of keeps the image and the pop-up uh, picture open. Also it brings a certificate of authenticity, which is really nice. And in the back it has the same description from the back of the box. And of course it's limited edition by Mattel. I found this so funny, it also brought this two year limited warranty which is so funny because you know it's been a lot of years and they also included this card where you could send in your opinion on the doll oh my god guys she is so beautiful out of the box look at that dress it's fabulous she looks amazing and oh i'm so happy to have her so let's go ahead and take a closer look at all of the details. So you can see her face is gorgeous. She has big purple eyes and it's very accurate to the movie. She has very light brown eyebrows with a little bit of pink eyeshadow. Her lips are also a dark pink color with a little bit of blush. And she also has wooded eyelashes which is so cool because Mattel doesn't really do this uh, for Disney so I love that she has the rooted eyelashes. It's perfect. Also, her crown is really amazing. This is actually the first time I see a crown that's made out of metal for a doll rather than plastic, uh, which is a really nice touch. So it's metal and it's painted gold, very beautiful. Her hair is styled very nicely. It does have a lot of gel, but she has her curls in the front, which look really nice, and she has curls in the back. And the hair is soft, except for the bottom. The tips are a little bit harder, but that's to keep that, you know, that original look from the movie on. Her necklace is very pretty and detailed and it matches the crown perfectly. It's also made out of metal, painted gold. When you turn it around, it's really cute too. <laughs> and it was actually held together by rubber bands, but they were old and rusty, so I just took them off. When it comes to the actual uh, white collar you see here, it's really cool, they added metal inside. So as you can see, you can bend it whichever shape you like. Moving on to the bodice, this bodice is gorgeous. It's beautiful beautiful pink flowers and it has different shades of pink with gold and it's just so detailed and it goes all the way to the back they were definitely not cheap at all with those dolls back in the day her sleeves are really pretty too they're actually a very very soft material compared to the rest of the dress I really really like that the bottom part of the dress is gorgeous as you can see it's very detailed um, and this top silk part is actually attached to the dress and I thought it was a separate piece but it's not 
When you turn her around, it's a little bit flat in the back, but that's because she's been in a box for a lot of years, so of course, but we'll take care of that later. She'll be totally fine. Now this dress is very pretty, has a lot of layers. The first layer is clear and it's pink. It's a clear pink. And then the bottom part is hot pink, very bright. When you lift that up, she has an underskirt, which is also very nice um, to make it poofy and make it big and princess-like and glamorous. <laughs> Now this has a lace, which is also very pretty. It's a shame you don't get to see it from the outside, but it's in there. Her stand says Sleeping Beauty, the signature collection. Very pretty as well, all pink. She has stockings with lace. Also in the back, you can see the tag for Disney Collector. And here you can see, I think they're called bloomers. I'm not too sure, I always mess that up. Bloomers or underwears, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> very pretty. See the lace on the uh, stockings, really nice. Her shoes are pink and they're very, very pretty. Very nice. Alrighty guys, well that pretty much wraps up my review. I'm really happy to have this doll in my collection. She's so beautiful. Um, Mattel definitely did an amazing job back in the day and I wish they still worked for Disney because if they gave us dolls like this, oh my God, I think I would be broke. More broke than I already am. <laughs> but um, she's definitely beautiful. She's one of the best Aurora dolls I've ever seen. She's amazing. And the other dolls in the collection are also very beautiful. And I hope to get them all one day. But for the meantime, Thank you so much, guys, for checking out my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.